The Hershey Company is the largest chocolate manufacturer in North America, with its headquarters in Pennsylvania, USA. The company buys Ghana's premium quality cocoa to produce chocolate, which is sold in over 60 countries worldwide. In 2011, under a public-private partnership project with Cocobod, Hershey, working with the World Cocoa Foundation, introduced the CocoLink project, which uses mobile phone technology to deliver timely farming, social, and marketing information to cocoa farmers to help cocoa farmers improve yield and their income. The Cocobod Hershey partnership deepened further when in June 2015, an advanced team from the Milton Hershey School, a subsidiary of the Hershey Company, visited Ghana on a familiarization tour of the cocoa industry. The visit concluded with the decision for some students from the Milton Hershey School to visit Cocobod to deepen their understanding about cocoa farming in general. Milton Hershey School is a private pre-K through 12th grade school, residential school, that provides an education for children in financial and social need in America. The school was founded by Mr. and Mrs. Hershey, who could not have children of their own. It was founded in 1909, about 107 years ago. The children who attend our school have a tremendous opportunity to build their character, their strength of character, and their academic instruction in great opportunities throughout uh, their educational experience at the school. One of the things that's very important to us is to provide them a global perspective so that they understand our increasingly um, international, complex world that we live in. So one of the programs that we've started at the school is an international travel program. And through a cooperation with the Hershey Company and the Ghana Cocoa Board, uh, we have created this experience for them to come to Ghana. The 23-member delegation of students and tutors from the Milton Hershey School, Pennsylvania, USA, arrived in the country on the 2nd of July, 2016. The first place of visit by the students was the Cocobod Warehouse at Tema. Dr. Francis Ba, Executive Director of the Cocoa Health and Extension Division, and Mr. Noah Amenya, Senior Public Affairs Manager, accompanied the delegation to the Quality Control Company and the Cocoa Marketing Company. The students and their tutors were exposed to how Ghana's cocoa bean is handled at the port before being finally shipped to the overseas buyers. I never really understood how much, how much checking and how much goes into this. And I just thought you harvested the bean and then it was shipped off somewhere. But there are so many checks, like checking for moisture, um, insects, like eight different grades and out like there's so many beans that are taken out of each different bag that are checked. I think it's amazing uh, the quality control that the cocoa board uses to ensure that uh, quality cocoa beans are shipped out all over the world to make uh, chocolate products and other things such as that. As far as what I've seen, Ghana cocoa is one of the best that I think, especially with quality. The delegation was officially welcomed by Cocobod management at Cocoa House, during which they interacted with some officials of the board and had the opportunity to watch a 15-minute documentary on the cocoa industry. The students visited the Cocoa Research Institute of Ghana at TAFO, where they were received by officials of the institute led by Executive Director Dr. Gilbert Anim Kopong. Their first point of call was the Fine Flavor Laboratory of the institute, where they were taken through some activities of the division.
They also visited the new product development division to learn about how cocoa products are processed into useful household products. At TAFO, the students used the opportunity to interact with the school children at the Cocoa Research Institute of Ghana Basic School. All the students are so respectful, like they stand up and when someone walks into the room and like they all in unison say, um, say how are you, I'm good, I'm fine. And that was really cool to see and getting to know some of the junior high students was also nice and exchanging email addresses and Facebooks and I can't wait to get to know them a little more and I got to talk to a few of the students and see their interests and what they want to be in, in the future and what their favorite subject and book was. So that was very interesting and I can't wait to see more of Africa. Uh, something that left an impression on me was the uh, flavor labs at the Kriga laboratory. I liked how you can uh, take the cocoa beans and different times of fermentation can create different tastes. If they're fermented too long, it has a very bitter taste and same with not fermenting it long enough. And if you leave it just right, it has a wonderful taste. I also like the, you can uh, chop the leaves up and uh, study their uh, molecular structure to find different strands of the plant. And I also like the, uh, the museum they had for the cocoa sh swell swelling shoot virus. And later in the day, paid a courtesy call on the Ashiam Tapohene, Osa Barima Aduse Piasa IV, and his elders, where they were taught the traditions of the Ashiam traditional area. Hershey is in partnership with an NGO, the Project Peanut Butter Feeding Clinic run by Dr. Mark Monnery, a pediatrician and a professor of pediatrics at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis, Missouri. The delegation visited one of the centers, the Maternal and Child Health Hospital at Kamasi, and made some donations. The NGO works to reduce malnutrition among children in rural Ghana. Through Project Peanut Butter, some children in rural Ghana receive nutrients to increase their strength, foster growth, and reduce their vulnerability to diseases. Still at Kumasi, 
The students visited the Manhya Palace Museum, which afforded them the opportunity to learn about the history and culture of the Ashanti Kingdom. With the help of a tour guide, artifacts representing regalia and other ornaments were used to tell the story of the most organized and successful kingdom in Ghana. They later bought some souvenirs. Perhaps the most emotional moment during the trip to Ghana was their experiences at the Cape Coast Castle when their tour guide narrated the story of the slave trade at the Gold Coast. The visiting students were taken to the male and female dungeons, and that was a moment where tutors and students alike broke into tears as the guide recounted the ordeals the slaves went through. Something that left an impression on me over the past two days was probably going to Project Peanut Butter and seeing all the little infants who were like severely malnourished even though we didn't even see half of how terrible it could get and seeing how great of a job the Project Peanut Butter is doing and working with these mothers and these children and making sure they get the nutrition they need so that they can start on a new healthy track and have a great outlook on life. So that was really impressive. Well this is a very sobering journey for me, um, even coming here to Ghana. I'm so excited to be on African soil. Um, I know that my ancestors are from Africa, so um, it's neat to be here. This experience, I taught my children about slavery. We've gone to a lot of museums, we've watched a lot on TV. This being here makes me so sad. I have a heavy heart for my ancestors and even for um, me not knowing where I came from and seeing how my roots and my legacy was torn apart from uh, this, this castle, possibly. Um, so it's sad for me. It's a sad day. My maiden name is Bradley. That's a British name. So I'm pretty sure my family was owned by English men and women um, who enslaved my people, and it is heart-wrenching to think about. I feel that being back here, I'm honoring my ancestors by coming back and seeing where they suffered and um, paying tribute to them and just um, looking at the courage that they had to live on and um, continue to build a people as fragmented as we are in America. So this was very good to come back. In America, we don't know where we come from, a lot of us. We cannot trace our roots past our great-grandparents um, even. And so to be here has been very powerful for me, and I'm extremely gracious for this opportunity. Thank you. The experience on the canopy walk at Kakum National Park would leave a lasting impression on the minds of the Hershey students and staff.
A farmer's rally was held at Sienchem to officially announce the presence of the Hershey delegation in the region. Mr. Tim Wasilewski, a senior director of the school and leader of the delegation, who spoke through an interpreter, said their visit was in line with the school's global program to appreciate cultural diversities and also acquaint themselves with the operations of the cocoa industry. Present at the rally were Nana Fosu Ababu, chief of Senshim, Dr. Francis Ba, Dr. Eugene Ofori Giumfi, central regional manager of CHED, Mr. Noah Amenya, Senior Public Affairs Manager, Samuel Toby from Asinman Young Cocoa Farmers Association, and staff from the Regional Ched Office. <music> Dr. Francis Ba, the Executive Director of the Cocoa Health and Extension Division, took the students through some basic farming practices such as pod harvesting, pod breaking, fermentation, and drying. The fermentation will convert this, the sugar, into some form of alcohol. It drains out, we don't need it. And then it gets to a state where the chocolate flavor and color will come out in the course of the, in the, course of the fermentation. So this has to be scooped out by hand. Mm -hmm. Scoop out of the hand, it goes into the basket. The visiting delegation observed and supported some of the young cocoa farmers to plant, perform lining and pegging, hulling and planting of over a thousand shade trees and a number of hybrid cocoa seedlings on four different cocoa bod Hershey demonstration farms, and some farms at Essin Fosu in the central region. The owners of the farms expressed their joy and gratitude to the delegation. <laughs>
The FOSU Training College Demonstration Basic School has had a telepresence distance learning program with the Milton Hershey School for the past four years. The visiting delegation paid a courtesy call at the school. They were received by the head teacher, Mr. Eric Jeche, who led them to stage six where the distance learning program takes place. The Hershey students and their Ghanaian counterparts interacted fruitfully. Assorted items such as books and candies were distributed to the students. This trip has been really fulfilling for, for me and I'm sure the rest of the people in our group. Um, first thing, I was able to meet my father for the first time in 27 years, which was amazing. Um, and then from that, you know, we got to learn about the history of Ghana. Um, we went to the art center to be part of that experience, which I thoroughly enjoyed. You know, some of our students were overwhelmed by it, but I think again, it was a really, really great experience. Um, we got to visit the Kwame Nkrumah Museum, which was amazing to learn about um, the courage um, of that man and his, his colleagues to, to fight for the freedom of the country of Ghana. And um, it was really, um, I think, important for us to be able to be part of that because, um, you know, you hear about people's history and be able to be there and see it firsthand, I think, was really, really great. Um, and then we traveled to Kumasi where we were able to go to um, the chief's palace and that was such an amazing experience as well. And then we took a, a long trek to Elmina to finally see this, this castle that we've all read about in our history books and to be able to be there and touch the, the, the stones and, and the cannons and go into the um, basically dungeons that our people were, were kept in for so many years, um, I mean, was, was something, you know, so that is an experience that I will cherish for the, for the rest of my life. And then our cocoa, yeah, lessons, yeah, the farmers, um, we got to see the whole process, you know, and who realized all the work that went into that little chocolate bar that we just gobble up so quickly and to be able to see every little step from the farmers and all the work it takes for them to to get the land prepared and the planting um, you know the harvesting the breaking the, the the drying and all the work it takes just even in that that step before it even gets to um, the bigger ports for export and you know turn into all the different things that you can make cocoa out of was amazing and the cocoa board was great they walked with us every step of the way to ensure that we really got a true sense of the experience um, what the farmers go through you know what the the quality control officers go through the marketing of the cocoa and I think through this whole experience I think we all got the sense that cocoa is Ghana and Ghana is cocoa we went to four farms. There we planted shade trees and cocoa. We also um, posted, we put in the post to know where everything goes. We learned about uh, the fermentation process and also how to crack open the pods. All four days we were there, it was labor intensive and they don't stop even when we would sit down sweating, drink like guzzling water, they just keep going. My role on this trip really was to bring out some of the character aspects of what we were challenged and faced with while we were here in, in Ghana. To start thinking about the people and to think about uh, the reasons for why Ghana is such a peaceful nation and also to really discover what the cocoa and the hard work that goes into producing, producing the cocoa, what it means for Milton Hershey School. So our kids got to see firsthand the cocoa production. Uh, they came to serve and I think we were served more <laughs> Uh, they came to give back and I think we learned so much more from the people than we were even able to teach. And we were very honored to be here to spend time. It was a difficult trip and it was that way on purpose for us. We have it pretty easy in America um, by, by the world standards and we struggle sometimes with identifying with people who suffer. And so this was a great way for us to work hard to honor the people of Ghana. Uh, to say thank you for their hard work in producing the cocoa. The one thing that I'm going to leave Ghana with is Ghana is cocoa and cocoa is Ghana. And just realizing that Milton Hershey School exists because of the cocoa of Ghana. Western Africa produces, uh, I think, 70% of 
the world's cocoa and um, the Milton Hershey School would not be in existence and would not thrive the way that it has without the hard work of the farmers. I'm very humbled by the work of the farmers. Um, I did an hour's worth of work and was done for what they did all day and what they do all week and all year and I was humbled by that and so I'm just very grateful for the cocoa farmers what it is that they do day in and day out to feed their families and to build a livelihood for themselves are um, just gifts to the Milton Hershey School and to all the students who are there for those of us who work there as well. I think most importantly they get to understand and see firsthand the rich heritage that this country offers and the warm hospitality from the people and also the cocoa industry itself which really our students benefit from uh, through the, the making of chocolate at Hershey uh, Chocolate Company, uh, which is made, of course, by cocoa. And so they get to see firsthand how the product is developed and all the things that the Ghana Cocoa Board does for the farmers through supporting them and educational programs, um, helping them with the seedlings. And they actually get to get their hands into uh, the soil and, and help plant seedlings and understand all the hard work that goes into that. So our experience here has been just absolutely tremendous. Our students have learned a valuable um, history of the country and the many uh, attractions that we've seen. They've interacted with the people and also uh, the, the cocoa industry. So it's been a great experience and we're really excited to be here. Um, we're very thankful for the hospitality shown to us and we hope to be able to come back in the future. A farewell dinner was held on Saturday the 16th of July 2016 at the Noble House restaurant in East Lagan to climax their two weeks tour of the cocoa industry. Delivering the farewell message on behalf of the Chief Executive, Dr. Francis Ba, the Executive Director of the Cocoa Health and Extension Division, was grateful to them for spending two weeks to familiarize themselves with the operations of the board. He was optimistic the partnership between Cocoa Bot and Hershey would deepen to their mutual benefit.